Hi, my name is Kathy Bram and you're watching my video because you've searched I want to homeschool my child. First of all, I want to say congratulations. You are ready for an adventure and it's a lot like a roller coaster ride. There are ups and there are downs, but I'm so glad that you want to homeschool your child. I have six children and I've been homeschooling now for 20 years. I have three that have graduated already. I have a senior, a sophomore, and a seventh grader. So when I said those words, I want to homeschool my child, I had no idea what I was getting into. But you know what? I wouldn't trade it for the world. I would not go back and change anything. So you want to homeschool your child? Great. If your child is four, five, six, and you're just getting started in this adventure, great. What you want to do is you want to contact your um, the state that you live in. You want to find out how legally you homeschool in that state. Every state is different. I've homeschooled in more than one state and their requirements are different. There's no straight across the board, this is how you homeschool in the USA. Every state is different. What I would recommend is go to this website. HSLDA stands for Homeschool Legal Defense Association. So it's hslda.org. You do not have to join this membership, but they have a lot of information about how to get started homeschooling when you want to homeschool your child. Click on your state and they will and it will pull up all this information on what's required. Now some states don't require anything. Some states require that you file something online. Other states just want you to send in a letter to the superintendent of the school district. Again, I want to stress that every state is different. So find out how you can homeschool legally. And if you have an older child that you are pulling out of the school system because you want to bring them home and homeschool them, great, I've done that. What I would recommend is setting up an appointment with the principal of that school you go in and you just simply state that you want to homeschool your child and you will be taking them out of school. Ask to sign the release papers. They will have you sign whatever they have. It's releasing that your child to you and they are no longer enrolled in the school. You want to do that so there's no truancy problems. So you want to homeschool your child? Now you are. Now you get started. You want to Think about what curriculum um, you want to use. And I don't mean by name, I just mean perhaps subjects you want to cover. If you have younger kids, start simple. If you have older kids that you've pulled out of school, you want to find, you know, English, math, history, science, reading, writing. And online, you can pull up all kinds of free curriculum on all of those subjects online. So use it. Also, the library, go to the library. Use all the books they have in the library on those subjects. Get good reading comprehension books. So you want to homeschool your child, that's how you start. And then just take it from there. Um, I wish you so much success. I want to share one more opportunity with you. I started um, working and making some extra money for my homeschooling. It's very simple, very easy. It's so much fun. And my kids even help me doing it. So. I want you to check my link below, check on my website, check out what I'm doing. I would love to partner with you and have you come join me and it's just so much fun and uh, we make it part of our homeschooling. It's business. <laughs> Thanks so much. I wish you the best. Bye for now.